Hey guys, it's Annie, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be my 2021 bullet journal flip through, where I flip through the two bullet journals I completed this year, basically. Um, yeah, without further ado, be sure to like, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more bullet journaling content from me. And let's get right to it. So I know I did a video like midway through the year when I'd finished my first bullet journal of 2021 which was um this one um from january until june so i showed you the flip through of this one but i'm just gonna do it again in this video so i can kind of do the the entire year in one video if that makes sense i did a similar one last year as well and you guys really liked that video so um yeah let's start with my first journal but from archer and olive these journals are absolutely amazing this was my first archer and olive journal and i absolutely fell in love with it and these are the only bullet journals i've had since so um would highly highly recommend anyways let's get right to it so the first I've got my usual like this book belongs to like my name kind of page next I've got my key um pretty simple I don't really refer back to this because I use my bullet journal every day I kind of know what all the symbols mean and what I need to write down I guess um title page Index, I ended up not carrying this through to my newest journal just because I never used it and it was just such a hassle to fill in for like no reason. Cause when I could just flip to a page, I don't know, I didn't feel, feel the need for it. So I kind of stopped using it like in April. Oh well. Next, I've got my future log. This this was such a cute spread. I love the Dutch door design. I'm thinking of repeating this um, in my 2022 setup, which will be going up um, probably the next video after this video goes up so like in the next couple days I've got my 21 goals um my year in pixels I'm thinking of doing another one of these in the new year just um but only with half of it because obviously I'm not going to refer back to my old journal when I've moved on so I'm probably going to go only up to like the end of June and then I can do another one for the other half of the year my new journal if that makes sense next my themes I didn't carry this on because I felt like I could kind of just flip through and see all of the themes I guess so I didn't really feel the need but I thought it was a cute idea my books I did continue this in the next journal I copied all of these over into the next journal and um carried it on growth tracker I ended up stopping using this I didn't really feel the need for it now moving on to January that is all of my yearly spreads I loved this theme and you guys love this theme as well it's one of um the most popular videos on my channel you guys really did love this theme january this color these colors are so cute i really did love them these were my zebra mild liners i absolutely adore these pens i use them in most of my bullet journal setups they are just so good and these weekly spreads i love the colors i remember i did a video on creating my vision board for 2021 um where i made this spread and i made online and vision boards that was such a fun video oh my god these dutch door ones i remember doing these they dutch door spreads are just so much more fun than other spreads i don't know i i, I love them this this was a really fun spread to make because i did a video where i let my instagram followers decide what spreads so i did like polls on different things this was such a fun spread to make as well Next, on to February, I didn't do a plan with me for that month just because um, I wanted a bit of a YouTube break. Well, not really, it was like for a couple of weeks or something. But I did do a plan with me, but I did do a flip through at the end of the month. Didn't end up fitting that in. I did really like the theme and it was really fun to experiment with watercolours because I hadn't done that before in my bullet journal. But I wasn't really feeling bullet journaling that much that month anyway. So I was kind of busy with school, everything. Um... But yeah, I think it did turn out cute. I actually started my podcast in this month, so I've got quite a busy like to-do list. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really cute. Now into March, I used coloured pencils in this setup and I really enjoyed it. I don't usually use coloured pencils, but I thought it would be really fun for this month. And the orange doodles are just so cute, but also really easy to draw. I love them. Oh yeah, I just used this spread for like testing out pens and stuff. That is the end of March. Now onto April, I did this kind of like harvest, not even though April isn't harvest month, I don't know what I was thinking, but it's kind of like vegetable theme. Um, I really love doing like the growing kind of vegetables. I thought they were so cute. 
and the font, like this calligraphy font was so easy and fun. I really loved it. I did so many Dutch doors at the start. I just like couldn't stop doing them just because they were just so fun. And it really gave me loads and loads of room for planning as well, which I really loved. Oh my God, this is May. This is one of my absolute favorite, favorite themes of the year. I think this is probably my top one of the year, along with August. This one was just so, so cute. And the colors, the majority of them are Zebra Mild Liners. I think the pink, was like a Crayola super tip, but the other colors were all mild liners and I loved it. And the font was so like fun and cute, bouncy. You know, I really love this. This, this is my favorite theme. And the colors, oh my God, I love them so much. I loved this weekly spread. I thought it was so fun. The colors, I love this um, kind of like repeated lettering. It was a really great way to fill the blank space. Now onto June. You guys also really did love this theme, even though it was so, so simple because I did have exams in June and I will do like for the next couple of years. Um, but this was such a simple theme, but you guys really did love it. And I also thought it was cute. I had to do like really minimal like spreads in this month just because I was running out of space. So I did like half a page for my calendar. Um, the weekly spreads were no Dutch doors. I had to kind of like <laughs> maximize the space I had on each spreads with like by minimizing how many pages I was using, if that makes sense. I think you guys get what I mean. Yeah, so that is it for the first bullet journal. I will come back. I had like two or three pages, like like literally one double spread left after. Um, yeah, that is it. I will come back with my second bullet journal. So now moving on to the current bullet journal I am using. I am filming this on the 14th of December. So I still haven't finished the entire bullet journal. I just wanted to kind of film this video, get it done with before I move on to all of like the new year stuff. So this first spread is the same as the other one, just the name kind of title. Then the key pretty much the same as well. Title page, I did kind of over like a double spread instead of doing a quote. And then I did chapter two. So I know that this is like the second one of the year. Next, my future log. I only did half of the, um, like half of the months obviously because there was no point in doing all of them. My books, I, as I said, I copied over all of the books. Um, from the last thing um, and then added on like which ones I'd read. Um, I ended up like leaving a lot more space because I read more, a lot more than I expected. I didn't end up using the films and series tracker that much. So I literally just kind of drew a line and separated it and carried on my book spread. So definitely next year I'll be doing loads more pages for my books because um, yeah, but I hopefully I'll probably end up filling a bit more of this up by the end of the year. Now on to July, this was a really fun summary. Um, ice cream, or like popsicle theme. I thought it was really cute and the colors were also really fun. I got really lazy at the end of the month and just ended up doing like simple pop school doodles instead of all of the like um, details. I kind of got really lazy there, but it's okay. I think I think it still turned out pretty cute. And this kiwi doodle was my absolute favorite. I thought the fruit ones were so much cuter than the other ones. I feel like I should have done a theme with just like these fruit popsicles or ice lollies instead of doing the other ones, but I thought it was still pretty cute anyways. Yeah, I was on holiday here. So instead of doing um, like my usual like to-do list events, I just kind of wrote like a synopsis of my day so I can look back and remember all the fun activities we did. I didn't end up completing all of it just because I got a bit lazy. Oh well, it's okay. I thought it was really cute. 
Next, this is definitely another one of my absolute favorite themes I've done this year. Um, this is my kind of like Greek mythology um, theme, I guess, ancient Greece. So I started by doing, I think this is the Parthenon or like any kind of like column structure, like architecture in Greek mythology. I used these beautiful like rose gold inks with um, a calligraphy pen. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really, really cute. So I did basically black and white that added this um, like rose gold accent, I guess. And then for the quote page, of course, I couldn't not do a quote from the Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. If you know me or if you've listened to my podcast, you know I will not stop talking about um, this book. Absolutely amazing. What a masterpiece. So I couldn't not include um, quotes from there and other amazing Greek mythology books I've read. I also used kept doodling these really cute olive branches which I really loved and they were so simple I was also on holiday in August so I didn't actually do a lot of workouts or like steps because you know um but I still um thought this was a really cute setup anyways I did have to dedicate a spread to my favorite Greek mythology books just because um, I've read so, so many great ones in the last couple of years, especially this year. Um, I have read loads more since. I probably should like add them in somewhere because they were really good as well. But um, I have a whole podcast episode on all of my favorite Greek mythology books. If you would like to listen to that, I will have a link down below. That was such a fun episode. Oh my god, this is like my favourite part of the whole theme. Obviously another Song of Achilles quote, but this helmet with, oh my god, Achilles' helmet. Like, if you know, you know, this this book really just drove me, but like in the best way possible. This was kind of like my holiday spreads. Um, I haven't really got around to writing the memories down, but I have it all on my phone. I haven't really been bothered to like put it in here, but I probably will eventually. This was kind of like a two-week um, weekly spread. I didn't actually fill this in that much only for like my Instagram and like my content I was posting but you know it's okay obviously a Cersei quote this is actually like the last like couple of lines in the book and I thought I had to include it because it's such a beautiful quote by Madeline Miller once again because Madeline Miller like I admire her so much now on to September this was such a fun theme as well I also really love this one another theme where I experimented with watercolors so I did the fine liner drawings and then filled it in with these different kind of like autumn-y watercolors I guess and the font was so fun to do as well I used my usual Tombow Fudanowski hard tip brush pen to do the calligraphy in this setup and in most of the other setups I've done and um, this year I did end up using coloured pencil to fill in most of the trackers because I didn't really want to be like getting my watercolours out every time I wanted to update my bullet journal. So I ended up using coloured pencil, but I think it did turn out really cute anyways. Oh my god, you can really tell the difference between these two weeks. I had COVID there and then I was recovering from COVID, still isolating, so I had so, so much to do. This was crazy. This was a crazy week. I had a lot to do in terms of content and catching up with school. Oh my god. Anyways, next is my October theme. I wanted to keep this one nice and simple because I was pretty busy with school at this point. But um, I really do love this theme, actually. I had to use the Justin Bieber quote from his song Ghost, obviously, because the theme it, I really needed to and I was like binge listening to Justice at this point you don't understand this is it was such a great album anyways but yeah um for the writing I used well here and like here for the thick writing or like the huge bold titles I used my Zephyr Mild liners and then for the kind of like smaller writing I used um these Paper Chase Fine liners well one of them I used the purple one but yeah I thought this theme was more like really cute, doodly and fun. 
I guess, as opposed to like September, which was more kind of like sophisticated, I guess. But this one was really fun um, and whimsical, I guess, to draw. These ghosts turned out really, really cute. I just realized this video is going to be so, so long. I'm so sorry, guys, but I want to get through all of the bullet journals and just kind of make it like I want to be able to talk in detail about all the spread just because um, I think they're all so special. Next. Oh, well, I didn't really end up filling this in. I kind of just did the books I'd read, but, you know, it's OK. Next, of course, is my November setup. This is kind of like my autumn falling leaves theme. Um, I did go back to all of the autumn full colours. Um, I used um, Crayola Super Tips, Paper Chase like felt tips that I had, um, Tombow dual tip brush pens, mild liners, all my felt tips that I had access to. I just chose some cute colours. And I love this ombre pattern. I did repeat it loads during the setup. Yeah, you can see the ombre again there. I did repeat this loads. It was just so, so cute. And I really do love how it turned out. Now on to my November weekly spreads. Actually, before I move on to December, I actually have an entire video where I planned all of my November weekly spreads. Um, so I did like all of my weekly spreads in that video and I thought it was really fun. Um, let me know if you'd like me to do that for every single month because I feel like one, I'm going to be drawing them anyway and might not film them. Um, and yeah, I thought it would be really fun for you guys to see my weekly spreads because I feel like I never really showed them. Over here on YouTube, of course, I post them on Instagram along with all my other spreads, but over here, I feel like you guys never get to see my weekly spreads. So I think I might carry that on. Next, moving on to December, which is this current month, this um, setup was really simple but did turn out really cute and fun and of course all of the felt tips used are my zebra mild liners I am in love with them like you guys don't understand and then this is my Tombow um, Fudinoski hard tip brush pen um, as usual so obviously a lot of this isn't filled in because the month hasn't ended um, so like most of it's pretty much half filled in Yeah, you can see here, that's obviously not, I couldn't, yeah, oh well. I guess you guys kind of get the idea of what it's going to look like when it's finished. And I'll probably finish this, I'll probably complete this entire spread um, at the end of the month, just so I know how many books I need to fit into the spread and how I want to lay it out. But it'll probably be something similar to this spread, just with books. That was, I think that was last week or the week before. No, that was like the first week of December, obviously. Um, this was last week. These spreads turned out really cute. I actually love them. Oh, okay, we're not gonna look at that. That's my gifts. So if you're watching this and you know me, yeah, don't, which, don't look at the gifts I'm gonna buy you, basically. Oh, these spreads were so fun. All of my Christmas spreads, these like three spreads, I did them in a Christmas spread inspiration video, which went up on Sunday the, I think it was Sunday the 12th? Sunday the 12th. Um, so go and check that out. This is this current week. So we are today, it's Tuesday the 14th. Um, so yeah, I have got this last final weekly spread for December. Oh no, we've got two more. So December has got a lot of weeks. Um, we got this spread and then this spread, which does um, go into January a bit as well. And that is it. I'm thinking of doing a couple of like end of year review spreads as well, um, which will probably include my 2022 setup. But yeah, that is it for all of my 2021 bullet journals. This is so exciting, guys. And I can't wait to set up my new year bullet journal. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. My next video is most likely going to be my 2022 bullet journal setup, which I'm so, so excited to share with you guys. Um, I feel like the best time in terms of creating content is Christmas and New Year's because there's so many fun videos I can make. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to like, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more bullet journaling content from me. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.